In today's video, we're going to be going over the TP-Link AC1750 wireless range extender, how to reset and quickly configure it from your mobile phone. Audio jungle. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below with any questions that you have. So, to get started with the TP-Link router, we're actually going to be doing a screencast from my Samsung S10 phone to my Samsung Flip, just so you guys can see it a lot easier. Uh, to reset the device, just make sure that it's powered on, plugged in. Uh, this is the antenna that you can kind of move up and down with it and move these side to side. So to reset the device, what you want to do is actually plug it in and there's a little reset button just right by the power and the LED. You just want to take some kind of maybe a toothpick and just while it's powered on, hold it in to that reset button firmly for about 10 seconds. You'll feel like a little push. I'm using a paper clip right now, but you can use a toothpick. I recommend a toothpick. And just hold it in for 10 seconds while it's plugged in. And once you get it plugged in, what you wanna do when you have your Android phone or your iPhone, you wanna download TP-Link's um, Tether app. It's called TP-Link Tether. And I'll just show you quickly how to install it. Let me just plug this in so we can connect to it and we'll get back to um, installing it from here. So now that we have the TP-Link range extender plugged in, what you want to do from your your Samsung phone or your iPhone, you want to go into the settings and connect to one or two of the radios that it actually it has. A, it has a 2.4 radio or a 5 gig radio. So what we're going to do is just go to the settings. I'm using an Android phone. So we're going to go into settings. Come over here to Wi-Fi connections and click on Wi-Fi right now I'm connected to my other wireless network and you'll see see right now I actually see only one of the radios it's a TP-Link extender um, actually there there's the other one TP-Link extender 5 so what we're gonna do is connect to the TP-Link extender 2.4 so you just click on that and once it successfully connects what we'll do is we'll go back to the Play Store or go back to the app that you downloaded from the Play Store, which is here, and open up the TP-Link Tether and just click on Open. Once you see the list of devices, it actually will come up here. If you don't see it, just click on the plus. Sorry, actually, I think that was creating the username and password, so my bad. That was just admin and admin. So right now it's scanning for the host uh, network and it's going to find it. So now what it did, it actually just popped up with select the 2.4 network that we want to connect to. So our primary network is this, um, well I've got three networks here in my home office so right now I'll actually connect to my John Steve network. So now it's going to ask for that password so I'm going to enter the password and so now I entered my password for the 2.4. Now it's going to ask me to connect to the 5 gig, and we're going to enter the password and connect to the same SSID, which is the John Steve network. So the next step, it actually asks to relocate the extender. So what you want to do is put that into an area where you have weak coverage or your signal is low. In one of my other videos, I talked about using um, a tool that is used for the Android, which is the, the Wi-Fi wi ACR unit that you can download on the Play Store. So find a suitable little place and then we'll just click next. Then you can check the signal, you know, the LED signals and whether 2.4 is running or 5 gig. Majority of you are going to be using 2.4. I would recommend 5 gig because that has actually less, uh, I would say, cross-channel interference or co-channel interference, meaning that there are less people using the 5 gig network. With 2.4, you get a, a wider range of coverage, but less bandwidth. And it's the opposite for 5 gig. You actually get um, less coverage, but you get more bandwidth. And that is it for configuring your TP-Link range extender. So that last step, you'll just see a list of your SSIDs on the 2.4 gigahertz network and on the 5 gig. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below if you have any questions. I'll, I personally answer all of the questions, so until next time. Audio